night. So it's uh Sunday morning and what I've been doing lately, if you listen to the last THP episode, was I talked about socializing the Aggies a little bit and trying to get them more used to handling. Um so in the mornings I've been waking up and whoever was under one particular rock that given morning was the one that I pulled out and worked with. I have both of them right now. <clears throat> and uh they're both cold still, so don't give too much credence to the uh the fact that they're being so handleable because as they warm up that's probably gonna change a little bit. But they are coming a long way. Uh so what I've been doing is just like as they're cold, go in and grab them. And then pretty much just doing this, letting them hang out. They're doing really well. Um, this is this is the male. This is Marv. This is Henrietta. And uh, this is kind of what they've just been doing. They've just been hanging out. He likes to try and climb up on my head. Um, still trying to kind of get him used to, to food and not, like, eating outside the cage and building that association. Uh, that I am the one with the with the bugs. We just had an awesome episode with Mike Stefani of Mike's Monitors, uh, where we talked almost entirely about socializing monitors, not necessarily Odatria or just Ackies, but monitors in general. Um, you know, because they're not all the same; Those species are different, and. Uh, so, I've been working hard uh, in the mornings I do this, and then when I get home from work, I'll usually pull someone out and give them a little bit of time. And we've been making good progress the last couple of days. Um, not to the point to where they're coming out to me and, and feeding, obviously, but they are much more handleable than they were a week ago. Um, before, I really couldn't even get near them without them freaking out, especially Henrietta. But Marge's been making pretty good progress. Uh, she's just enjoying the heat right now, I think. In my hands. I just had a bulb go out. That's crap. So, yeah, I've just been doing that. And then I got a nice little mix of bugs here. Some some wax, uh, not wax worms, mealworms, darkwing beetles, uh, some black soldier fly larvae. And then I do some dubia, uh, too. And trying to get them to eat a little bit and do their thing uh, while they're out here on my hand but we're not really there yet so we're gonna keep trying after each session I've been loading up their food bowl because I have been trying to feed them more after talking to Mike I think that's that's a somewhere I was lacking so uh, mostly out of fear of getting them fat but he brought up a good point that they're very high metabolism and they're kept very warm so uh, Getting them fat is, especially at a younger age like this, is probably not likely to happen unless you're feeding them something super fatty like rodents. So, I'm gonna beef them up some. Uh, yeah, so, I've been making really good progress with them, and I've been enjoying being able to actually interact with them because before I couldn't really touch them without them freaking out. Uh, now, I mean, as you can see, they're doing. Really well, he's gonna jump on me. They like to climb up. They like to go up to my head. They are awesome lizards, though. I know I, so I, I have uh, the video done on setting up the cage and stuff. I haven't finished editing it and uploading it yet, but they do have their new enclosure, and it came out really well, and they're loving it so far. So, this should just be kind of a quick video talking about what's going on, uh, a little bit of an update. And, uh, I, yeah, I mean, they're awesome. They're great lizards. They're everything I thought they would be. Uh, it's a species I always wanted as a kid never got, so I've had them for a little over a year now, and I freaking love them. They're awesome. Like, going from keeping snakes to these guys, uh, it's just another experience, another completely different herpetoculture experience. <clears throat> if you're a snake person and you haven't kept... Uh, lizards like monitors, Odatria. Um, I highly recommend it. It's something definitely different. There's more going on with these than there is with most of the snakes. The Jance and I kind of being the exception and the rhino rats being a little different. Uh, it's just, it's interesting. It's different. You know, these are like 
very alert and very present. They're watching you. They're watching what you're doing. You're not just an ominous sort of predator like you are with snakes. Um, where if it were any gigantic thing coming at them that they would freak out. These guys, it's more of like a building a trust thing. They recognize you. You know, they, they know what's going on. And uh, they're great. I mean, they're like... Like I said, these guys are a little over a year old, and I feel like they're probably a little smaller than they really should be. But that's because I haven't been feeding the, the hell out of them. So check them out. Highly recommended. Video on the build will be uploaded soon. I just haven't gotten around to actually doing it. So thank you. See you later.